happy Easter everybody happy Easter Sunday and what an extraordinary astrological time as well because we have a stunning beautiful full moon in Libra that was actually technically yesterday but nevertheless we are in the full moon energy and it's been a beautiful and very powerful rebalancing kind of moon so if things have come to a head in a challenging way um, trust you're being shown something there's a lot of illumination with purpose taking place so guys I'm going to run you straight into the, um, the daily lunar updates for the coming week. I'm also then going to read a tiny little bit about this full moon energy because it's quite interesting astrologically. But if you want to just fast forward and go straight to the, um, the drawing of the cards, we've got three different packs of cards to choose from. And we're also getting additional guidance from the Oracle cards, Keepers of the Light. Um, that's going to help us to um, guide us in with our intuition to which of the readings we we're going to be connecting in with them that are resonating with us. So if you want to fast forward to the cards or if you already know um, which of the readings you're tuned into just from the thumbnail or at the front of the videos, you can um, click on any of the timestamps. I'll put them all in the information box below and the comments as well for phone users. So let's speed into the coming week and the lunar influence for every single day for the coming week. And so today on Sunday, the moon moves into her waning gibbous phase and she enters Scorpio at 0.23 a.m. GMT. So as you are listening to this, she is already in Scorpio. Now, following the invitation of the full moon to transform and to re-establish balance, this energetic flow is going to continue. And the overall astro dynamics of today suggest really powerful karmic shifts with increasing expansion that arises through heightened levels of spiritual awareness. So very relevant to all of you watching these readings today. On Monday, the moon remains in Scorpio until 23.54 p.m. GMT, when she then begins a short void of course period. There is a very strong spike of lunar energy at the start of the day. So if you are feeling in any way out of sorts or a bit tetchy or a bit frustrated or a bit irritable, take it steady because there is actually a bigger picture unfolding here. On Tuesday, the lunar energy is fiery, dynamic, and very creative. The moon enters Sagittarius at 0217 AM GMT, and the day does begin with a very fiery, dynamic feel to it. Finding a creative avenue of expression is really the very best way to channel this energy. And as the day progresses, the intensity of this will dissipate. On Wednesday, the moon leaves Sagittarius at 20.55 p.m. GMT and then goes into a void of course period for the rest of the day. The overall lunar energy on Wednesday has a kind of a tension between being out there and happening and doing stuff versus the need to retreat and find quieter time. So take charge of your choices and see how you personally feel and listen and respond to your own needs. If you feel the need to be out there, go for it. If you feel the need to retreat, then do so. And for some of you, you may want to hold a balance between the two. On Thursday, the moon enters Capricorn at 03.52 a.m. GMT, and the lunar energy today is strongly influenced by Lilith, who highlights injustice and she calls for equality. Now, whenever anything is brought to our attention, we always have a choice as to how we respond. The energy of Lilith can actually leave us feeling pretty fired up about stuff. So take time to consider what you personally can do in real terms to address any issues of inequality that you can see or that show up and how you can contribute to the greater good for all of humanity. What is your contribution? What can you personally do? On Friday, the moon is in Capricorn and the lunar energy is bringing a gentle day of steady flow. So seize the moment. This is a gorgeous day to just invest, take action, um, fuel anything that you actually want to do. So seize the moment. Whatever you choose to invest your energy in, consistency will pay off. On Saturday, the moon reaches her last quarter phase. 
She leaves Capricorn and enters Aquarius with a void of course position between 03.52 a.m. and 06.17 a.m. GMT. The last quarter moon passes transformational Pluto today and so the lunar energy really suggests a day of potential realizations. These may be internal, they may also be in your external circumstances as well. Our external circumstances are inevitably a mirror. Um, so yeah, be open and aware of whatever you may be shown today. Have a truly wonderful week. I'm now going to read a little bit about this full moon in Libra from the Art of Manifestation Astro Moon Journal. We are now in the fourth moon phase of this year, Looks Far Woman. This full moon is also known as Pink Moon, Planter's Moon and Alder Moon. A full moon in Libra will always call us to find balance, harmony and healing, particularly within relationships. The astro, astro energy of this full moon brings an interesting and a very strong set of dynamics because both the moon and the sun square with Pluto. Pluto is the planet of rebirth and transformation. So this will call for the transformation of any aspects of our world, both inner and outer, that are in need of a makeover. Any circumstances or situations that we may have been suppressing or denying are going to surface or potentially come to a head at this time but with purpose. However, the energy of the moon and sun also flows in harmony with Saturn, supporting restructure with ease and flow. So any situations that show up, anything we've been investing in and manifesting may also come to a head. They may complete at a particular stage of their development, ready for the next phase and the next chapter, or indeed things that are showing up, will there will be a real opportunity to create transformation in real terms. Overall, with Venus communicating well with both the great communicator Mercury and the great awakener Uranus, even though the dynamics of this full moon are not without tension completely, particularly in any areas where we need to find balance, there is a wonderful flow of energy available to move things forwards, to move our circumstances and our situations into a space of transformation, completion and rebirth. So wonderful friends, invest in this energy and have an amazing week. Welcome to the part of the reading where we actually draw the cards. Now these are the three tarot packs that we're going to be using. So reading one, um, and this is the book as well, we're going to be using the Wild Unknown Tarot, just if that helps a little bit with your guidance. And we have a beautiful basket of spring primroses. For reading number two, now this is a standard Rider weight tarot pack. I'm sure all of you will know this pack, be very familiar with it. And we have a beautiful basket of forget-me-nots, beautiful spring flowers. We are also going to use the Light Seers Tarot. This is the book, the guidebook for this pack. That's reading number three. Um, we'll draw astrology dice for all of them. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to draw a guiding card from the Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. So let's move that over here and let's see what shows up. So reading one, Bridget, Inner Strength. This card says move back to wholeness and recognize that you have the power. Okay, so that's reading one. Well, reading two is showing itself very clearly. Horus, cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. This is reading number two. And reading number three is also showing itself. Charity, prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. That is the energy for reading number three. Okay, so in this wonderful Easter full moon energy of opportunity, of potential rebirth, transformation, opportunity to restructure and bring, um, bring the new into being, these are our three readings. If you need to press the pause button um, just to tune in, 
um, and see which are speaking to you, you can do so. If not, you know the timestamps are in the comments and in the information, so just go for it and go to whichever reading or readings is talking to you. Tons of love and see you in just a moment. Welcome Reading One people, thank you so so much for joining me. So you have been guided by the Wild Unknown Tarot and the card of Bridget and the beautiful primroses. It's very interesting because Bridget is, she's about spring, you know, she's a fertility goddess, she's a goddess of fire and yeah, inner strength, move back to wholeness, recognize you have the power. I'm going to throw the astrology dice for you. Wow, you have Mars in Aries. Goodness me. And here we have beautiful red-headed Bridget. Um, inner strength, Aries, fire, passion, new beginnings. Mars, who rules Aries. Wow, there's a lot of energy around you guys um, for to move something forwards or for new, new beginnings. Um, I mean, this is a very powerful start to this reading beautiful energy, fire energy. There is fire and passion around you. Okay, let's draw from the, the tarot. Okay, so you have 10 of swords. Something is coming to an end for you. There's a completion. It's interesting, this full moon in Libra, you know, connecting in with Pluto, the transformation, and, and also with Saturn. There's real opportunity in this moment to see what we need to change and to change it, to take action. Something is completing for you. We're in a space of new beginnings. Move back to wholeness. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. Four of Wands, okay, Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, hmm, this is really interesting, it, it's like it's like something's coming to a completion and you're in this space where it's really right for you to now invest in something. Okay, I love that we have the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. This for me feels like that magical combination of, you know, when we invest in both kind of mind and spirit. Let me straighten these cards up. I've just glanced up. I have a little screen that I can see the cameras. Let's line these up so we can really see the cards for you guys. Yeah, you need to invest in something. It's a point of investment point where something is is ready to move it's like it's like the energy around you is primed to move forwards but you're needing to wow oh, there is a completion well and we have a celebration here as well three of pentacles okay i feel like you guys are really at quite a significant turning point with something you're being invited to this move back to wholeness recognize that you have power now i think for some of you guys and this is a message that will apply to some of you and not all for some of you i think there's something internal that maybe knocked you off balance or or that you've been working at something and it's it's coming to an initial stage of completion, but there's more work to be done and there's more investment. For some of you, there's been a distraction. And so you're come, this is an invitation to come back in. Wholeness is everything. I, I feel like this is fundamentally a reading of it's gosh, it, it, it's almost like the universe is opening up a door for you. It's not even one door. I'm like seeing doors open. It's like there is a doorway in front of you and you are being invited to step through it. For some of you, the internal something, the something that knocked you off balance, there's something that's pulled on your strings a little bit that maybe, or you've been worrying about something or something that, that's 
almost like held you back from walking through those doors, but the doors are now wide open. This is a reading that says, do you know what? It's time to invest. It's time to move forwards. Consider your, consider what you're going to do thoughtfully and carefully, contemplation. This is a mixture of the empowerment that comes when your heart and your mind are in unison. It's like they're singing the same song, okay? This is lovely. This is lovely. I'm, I'm going to draw some additional clarifying cards, actually. I'm going to use an angel pack. I have lots of cards around me, but I, I feel like I'm needing a little bit more information here. You see, for some of you, there's, there's something deep within you that, that stopped you from moving through that open doorway. For others, there's something quite practical and pragmatic. It could even be both. They could be interlinked. There's something better. You're ready. <laughs> I love it. Oh, reading number one. I love it. <laughs> there's something better and you're ready yeah this is the shift to wholeness move back to wholeness recognize you have the power think very thoughtfully about what it is you want you know seven of cups it, it's like choices you know it, it's a card where choices are available and you know sometimes you step through that doorway and there's actually more than one pathway you could follow so consider, really, I, I feel like I'm wanting to say, what do you want? Not what anybody else wants. What do you want? What's going to make your, your heart sing and what's going to make your mind sing as well? You're ready. It's like, it's like you're stepping out of a zone of where you couldn't quite own your fullest potential or there was something you really wanted, but you, you, you would settle for less. And, and, and do you know, I, in last week's readings, I think it was last week, I drew the sort of a, a diagram showing the stretch, the safe stretch and stress zones. And, and it, it's, which is very much about stepping out of the safety and security of the known and into the space of the known. This has got a different feel to it. There's more adventure in this. There's more excitement. There's more passion. There's more empowerment in this. This is like, you know, what do you want? Don't settle for less. Meditation brings the answers. Yeah, if you're not sure, if this, if you're sitting there listening to this reading and you're thinking, well, I know I want more. I know some, a chapter is coming to a close, but I'm not quite sure what I want. Just give yourself all the time in the world to, um, yeah, just allow yourself to find find clarity in the energy of the full moon we're often shown things and sometimes we're shown stuff that is challenging the, the real exciting point of power in that is that if you see something that you don't like it's like the reverse of it is right i know i don't want that so what's the opposite that i do want it's there to help to clarify what you do want this feels zingy, full of fire, full of passion. And likewise, you know, really clear message coming through here for some of you, it won't be for all, but do you know, if you're feeling really fired up about something, because somebody either pressed your buttons or there's something that's been niggling, do you know, the purpose of that is that it helps you to define what you do want. You don't have to be hung up on it. You use it as, as an, it's like going to a restaurant and you order something and, and you know it's just not your bag. You really don't like it. Okay, well, if you return to that restaurant, you don't have to order the same thing on the menu ever again. You order something completely different. Or if you don't like that menu at all or that restaurant, you go to a different restaurant. You're not stuck with the same choice. You have choices. This, this reading is all about choices. And you are ready to embrace something. 
it's like there's a yeah a wholeness that's the word that's coming to mind again let's draw some runes we have the rune of partnership see relationships do you know if some of you have been in a relationship or you've been looking for love and you feel like it's you've been i don't know settling for less you know don't <laughs> just don't don't settle for less just don't go there <laughs> just don't go there you are in a space of spring of rebirth of new beginnings the energy is completely supporting you this is all about the new all about the new Ooh, signs signs signals synchronicities the signs are being shown to you so even if something feels a little bit kind of challenging or rubbish you know it's just a sign that's all it is it's just saying this isn't for you move on go elsewhere look elsewhere <laughs> think about what you really want there's definitely a stage of completion here i don't know whether this feels like a completion of your self-esteem it's like you've got to base camp somehow you're climbing mount everest and you've got to base camp <laughs> there's something quite profound that's, that's coming to a space of both completion, um, a space ready to invest and make the right choices, creative energy, um, the power of the mind and the heart, the, the power of your mind and your feeling united, ready to manifest. It just feels like you're so ready and yet just take your time and kind of yet simultaneously go for it. <laughs> I know that sounds like a contradiction, but that's what this is feeling like. Okay, marvellous. We have two more runes that have come out. We have the rune of movement. This is the bettering of any situation. It's something that is going to gather momentum. And then we have the rune of openings. This is, it's like an arrow, a pointing. It's the rune of openings means you're going to find the direction. The, the doorway will open. You know, this is what I've been seeing this, like, it's not just like one door, it's big, big open double doorways, you know, like big French doors, you know, opening up and, you know, the vista and the pathway, the future lies ahead. Meditation brings the answers, any lack of clarity, don't, don't be fiery, just get still and meditate. You have choices around you. For some of you, the choices as well are about keeping yourself centered and, and being organized, actually. You know, using the power of creativity, your heart and your mind as well, um, the, the, the clarity of your mind. So if you need um, help with, with your timetable, with navigating, with being organized, because there's a lot of fire here. This is really fiery. It's really passionate. It's wanting to go, wanting to make choices. So yeah, you're at base camp. You've got to work out the route. <laughs> okay. So here you are at base camp, whatever this means for you, whatever this point is for you, whether it's overcoming an inner critic, whether it's an actual something, whether it's within relationships um, you know moving something forwards whether it's choosing the right person and saying no to the wrong one whatever base camp is for you you've got there okay this is a celebrating you're ready for more there's something better now as you climb mount everest because that's kind of like this is the this is the, the mountain of your dreams okay as you climb this i think you know there's a a feeling in this reading that says, okay, so, th so this is a, a big mountain to climb. Don't be phased. You've got the energy and the power, you know, move back to wholeness, recognize you have the power. Okay. This is a card of spring. So you are going to need to make choices about the route that you take. Okay. So each time you move further forwards up the mountain, contemplation, meditation, there you will find your answers. If, you're, if you've started writing a book, you know, and you've got the idea, but you're not quite sure and you get writer's block suddenly, just meditate. The next chapter, the next step will come to you. The way will be shown. The doors are opening. And reading number one, um, beautiful people for reading number one. The, this is, the, the timing is prime for you. I'm very confident. Even if for some of you, there's a, a wrapping up of something or still 
some inner confirmation needed to remind yourself that you are worth more than this, that there is something bigger and better on the pathway for you. Whatever this bit is, it is coming to its natural completion and the doorway of choices is opening to you and the pathway to this mountain of your dreams is really being offered. And if you're not sure if there are more than one route, if there's more than one route you can take, meditate, whatever route you take, it will be the right one for you. Yeah, you'll learn, you'll find, you'll gain what you need along the way. Well, reading number one, this is exciting. So I am going to leave it here. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you want to get notification of any of my readings, do press the subscribe button and the little bell icon, and then they should come up on in your stream on YouTube. And also, um, I give away a free private reading every month. So if you want to be in my prize draw, I give away some Oracle cards too. Um, I, it's a subscriber offer, so you can add yourself to my subscriber email list if you want to and, um, and watch out, not just for the readings I post every Sunday, but I post spontaneous ones too. They're kind of timeless readings. They're pick a card readings with quite specific things. I've just posted some about, you know, what are your dreams trying to tell you? So do check those out as well if that's kind of resonating for you too. Tons and tons and tons of love. I am just really cherishing your energy and I'm enjoying just sitting in this. It's, um, it's very vibrant and yeah, this is an exciting time for you guys. There is just so much promise. Tons of love to you. Welcome to reading number two and you have chosen the Ride Awake pack and the card of Horus, Cosmic Gateway, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. You have a beautiful nest of forget-me-nots and I'm gonna throw the astrology dice for you as a starting point. Okay, so we have, um, we have Capricorn, we have the sun in Capricorn. So there's, there's a kind of a, a need to, to, to do something, to make something, to create something. There's creative energy around you to actually make something kind of happen. I feel like this is like a reading of manifestation and abundance really at this, at this moment. It's almost as if you're being given guidance, you know, with the energy of Horus, it's like, um, it tunes us into the kind of, it is like a cosmic gateway that the vortex where we can place ideas, um, put our wishes, dreams into the vortex so that the universe can help us to manifest. Your thoughts are ma magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Now the energy of forget me not is interesting because it's feeling like maybe there is something that you're needing to not forget, actually. What, what is that about? Let's see, Ace of Swords. So we're in a space of new, of a new beginning, maybe even a new way of thinking or of seeing or of doing something. Definitely a new way of doing something. And now you have the Two of Swords. Hmm. It's been some conflict. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Wands. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Hmm. This is really interesting. I feel like there is a, it's like, a, what's that conflict of direction, but a, like there's a decision to make, you know, do you go one way or the other way? Do you, do you follow your kind of creative impulse or, you know, do you, it's like, how do you ground it? Actually, I, I think the two need to come together here. I think this is this is an invitation to see.
see this situation we have a, a winter card in this pack there are some cards that are not traditional tarot cards but it is a card of winter i'm going to place that it's down here actually yeah eight of swords it's like you're torn about something and nine of swords wow guys you're torn maybe two different directions to go in two different people even for some of you it's like you know which is the right pathway which is the right person and and you're really worrying a lot about this isn't so there's there's a lot of fear here in taking action the forget-me-not is really interesting because I was saying to you what is it that you need not to forget I feel like there's an anxiety about moving forwards here. It's like excessive worrying, being f almost like debilitated by, by fear and concern. You know, the winter, it feels as though the winter is kind of upon you. What is really interesting here is that with Horace and the sun in Capricorn too, Horus Cosmic Gateway, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. This reading is, is kind of really asking you to kind of keep your worrying a little bit in check, actually, because, because we don't want to put too much worry into the universe. I, I actually think that the way will become clear for you here. I feel that the direction will show itself. Actually, I'm going to draw some more clarifying cards. I have a lot of different packs around me. In, in reading one, I did actually draw some angel cards and I may do the same, but I'm going to use the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards just to see what we are shown here. Imperfection. Okay, it says, let's move these up a little bit. Yeah, I feel this reading needs a little bit more, um, a little bit more time and thought and energy because there's there's worry and concern around you. You're fearful about what might happen in some way, shape, or form. And I don't even know whether the conflict that is around you is really yours. You know, you know how sometimes when we really care about people or we can see other people getting in a tangle, and you know and that in itself can be debilitating but sometimes it's not actually you know our concern to carry imperfection here in our goal-driven world we seek to blame whenever things do not run smoothly and yet it is our imperfections that make our human lives the perfect vessel for the evolution of the soul strive to be the best you can be Cherish your mistakes and those of others and honour the learning to be found in every experience. This is just saying, you know, this is okay. Don't, don't worry, it's going to kind of work out, I think. Really wanting to ask, reading number two, how is this going to emerge? I feel you're going to be shown some signs. Collaborate. Okay, you don't need to do this on your own. Okay, whatever's taking place, this is not for you to carry on your own. You know, and if people are, are kind of not getting it right, don't worry too much. You know, sometimes, this card says, sometimes we're called to develop our self-sufficiency. And this can be a valuable road to travel in the discovery of our unique and individual gifts. But this is not the same as trying to do everything for yourself all of the time. This is not a time to go out alone. It's a time to unite and work with others. Okay, collaboration is the key it's also okay not to be okay <laughs> it's all right you don't have to have all the answers <laughs> you don't have to have the answers okay stand your ground this card brings a clear message whether in pragmatic action or in holding firm to your own principles and your own opinions whatever your situation do not give way this is not a time to back down but you don't have to do it on your own the time is right to hold your own and stand your ground i mean again really interesting to say you know if we have difficult feelings it doesn't mean that we're in the wrong just because we're feeling something challenging 
those feelings are telling you something okay and here we have something very powerful the gossiping and drama card okay this is a really important card okay talking behind people's backs is one of the greatest producers of negative energy with the potential to affect not only individuals but entire communities make a choice not to involve yourself in this this card also asks if you are unable to find anything positive to say then please consider saying nothing at all i i feel this reading is that there's a quite a lot of conflict around you okay the eye of horus the cosmic gateway is really inviting you and the same capricorn the sun hold your principles here you know, it's okay not to be okay. And it's also okay to talk to others and get support in this situation. You don't have to go it alone. I do feel like there is conflict around you that is not necessarily yours. Don't be drawn into it. Just hold that higher, higher vision. I'm now going to draw some angel cards as well. I feel this is turning into, you know, a really, a lot of clarification. But I, I feel like this conflict is weighing you down. And I don't think you're entirely, uh, I said, I, I don't feel it's yours. I think you've got caught up in something that is about other people. It's two other people, particularly, I think, like, like people are at odds with one another. They've got a different perspective. You know, it's like that moment where in a, in a team where, you know, somebody with a really creative mind falls out with someone who's got to deal with the practicalities of how to make this happen. <laughs> you know, there are odds and that, that kind of conflict can take place within us as well. You know, we can have a creative idea, but not know how to practically make it work. Um, or, but I feel that energy is around you that maybe people have different perspectives, different ways of seeing something. It does, it feels like the pragmatic, practical, you know, this is how it is, is at odds with the sort of the dreamer who wants to build the, the palace and, and there's somebody saying, yeah, well, hang on a minute, you know, project management, you know, and there's a, there's a conflict here. But, you know, the way to handle that is not, is not the backstabbing gossip and drama stuff. You, you need to hold your ground in some way and not be drawn into this. We can stand back, you know, and just love people for who they are, but also recognize we don't have to involve ourselves in their stuff. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Helpful people are around you. Ask for help, collaborate. Yay, this is nice get more information lovely collaborate again and opportunity okay right we're being shown something really important here look look even though this is a situation that i think is weighing heavy that there's actually an opportunity here the full moon may have brought be bringing something to light that is is out of sync or out of balance actually there is an opportunity within this situation um you may not yet be able to see it you know beautiful um reading number two people you may not yet be able to see what that opportunity is but there is an opportunity collaboration is really important you don't have to deal with this alone um, listen to your intuition and also hold your ground so kind of keep your own perspective on this and in this circumstance this conflict if two people are trying to draw you in if they're having an argument <laughs> you know and um, you don't really you, you know you don't have to take sides i feel like there's something of that for some of you as well you know just hold the higher ground get more information and go seek some help from people if you need some help go get some you know, there are helpful people around you. There are people ready and willing to give you the support you need. This is not a time to go it alone. It's a time to work with others. If some members of your team or your family are at odds with one another, you know, as to how to go about something, get some more information. There will be an opportunity here. It's so, so this is, the Eye of Horus is lovely because it is an energy that says, 
you know this card says you know your thoughts are magnetic and powerful if the vortex is above you you can place your ideas in there now we can't change the conscious free will and choices of others but what we can do is ask for a solution that will benefit everybody that will enable everyone to grow we can put that out there we can we can make a request we can seek help in that way let's draw some runes we have the rune of ice okay this is the rune of standstill <laughs> it does feel like something is at loggerheads this is the rune of separation so there will be a letting go of something there will be even potentially a parting company okay you might have to walk away for some of you from a situation that might be the outcome but you know um i just want to say it's okay um this is a rune of gain of inheritance of benefit but it comes because we let go of something it's like we've outgrown a situation and the rune of ice even if something is at loggerheads or at standstill it'll move forward you just might need to move beyond it. And here we have the rune of possibility. It's the blank rune, opportunity. It's like a rebirth. It's a, a space of new potential. We have Hagalas, the rune of disruption. I'm enjoying this. Ah, and the rune of fertility. This is lovely. Okay. So Hagalas is really interesting because it has an energy of rebirth about it, but it's like an awakening. So, do you know, it, it can mean in all honesty that, that you have been in a situation or tolerating a situation for a while that, you know, you just reach a point where you can't stick it any longer. And it is interesting because even though it's difficult, that conflict, that decision, even though it's difficult, by leaving, um, so much opportunity comes your way, you know, by saying goodbye to something. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's disruption with purpose. So whatever is taking place for you guys here in the uniqueness of your world, there are openings here, actually. And you are being, um, you, you know, invited to actually pragmatically do something here. The rune of fertility requires completion of beginnings. So whatever is in motion, it needs to um, be completed. It, even, this, even if this is just like you becoming clear in your own mind, seeking the help you need to move something forwards. I think for some of you, this conflict is not yours. Do you know, it may be that neither one of these routes is right for you and you just choose to go in a completely different direction. You don't have to be tangled in the opinions of others. Get more information. Stand your ground. There is opportunity around you and don't be drawn into anything. Um, you know, you can be bigger and better than that. This is a really interesting reading. It, it is like, you know, something around you that is difficult to handle but actually within it there's a ton of opportunity and there are helpful people around you trust and and stand your ground be clear about what you know is right wonderful reading number two people i'm really you know really rooting for you and really so grateful to see in these extra cards collaborate and helpful people get more information and opportunity there's actually real good opportunity here for you just because things are messing up don't be bogged down by it you know part of the learning is sometimes just to step up and rise and move beyond wow guys um I'm just gonna just uh, just tons of love this to you I'm really rooting for you to you know reach out to the right people and get the support you need to navigate through this because there is a real opportunity there's a spark here it's like it, it's just that you're slightly weighed down by the yeah the the complexities of the way that some other people actually operate and and it can feel like you're being you're bogged down in something and, and things are stuck because they don't want anything to move forwards or change or they want it their way you, you don't have to do that level of conflict at all truly you, you can make a choice and just you know hold firm to your own principles whatever your situation and just make your choices accordingly 
reading number two tons and tons and tons and tons of love to you and um guys if this is resonating with you and you want to get notification of any of my readings um i post every sunday and i post spontaneous readings i've just put some up to do with what are your dreams trying to tell you so um you know if you want those notifications if you subscribe and press the little bell icon they should come into your stream and if you want to be in my monthly prize draw where you can win a free private reading or a pack of the art of manifestation oracle cards um, i have a subscriber email list you can add yourself to that and i will put all of the links in the information box below and in the comments for phone users so wonderful friends tons of love to you So reading number three, welcome. We have the beautiful little Easter pot of dandelions. We have the card of charity, prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Very lovely. This is very much, I think, about giving and receiving, the energy of giving and receiving. We have the light seers tarot as well. And I'm just going to draw, draw from, I'm gonna throw the astrology dice first for you guys. Okay, so you have Neptune in Virgo. Wow, so spiritual Neptune and Virgo is, you know, quite a lot of doing here. I do feel there's there's got a, a, there's a distinct flavour of of that kind of essence of kind of it is like charity work, but also the sort of the knowing that as much as you give, you will also in turn receive. Let's just see what the tarot shows us first of all. What is spirit wishing to show reading number three today? The magician. Ooh, Knight of Wands. of swords two of wands death and rebirth I was just feeling like with the ten of swords there's this feeling of of a completion of leaving something behind Ace of Wands. You're in a space of card of judgment. I feel like you're in a space of, of new beginnings in some way. And yet simultaneously, do you know I have a sense of sadness? You know, it, it is as if in some ways it's like you're something you're manifesting is happening, and yet simultaneously something is is leaving your world as well the temperature in this room has just dropped you know there, there's a very strong presence coming here i'm wondering if some of you are dealing with with loss and the ability to pick to pick yourself up and almost like really really begin to manifest again Neptune, there's a, such a strong spiritual connection with those on the other side for you at the moment. The Knight of Wands is a card that for me just says, go for it. What is it that you've always wanted that you've held yourself back from? And yet it's almost like to actually go for what you want, you have to accept that something is no longer relevant to you or that something has passed, a time has passed. It's kind of like, how can I explain it? Uh, it's like, um, you know when, <coughs> excuse me, you know when, it's like if you're single, for example, and you really, really, really want to be in a couple and you suddenly are in a couple, but actually it, it's that point at which you kind of, you sell your, uh, your bachelor or your bachelor 
flat, you know, the, the one that you had all your amazing experiences as a single person in. And suddenly you're selling up and you're moving to the, you know, the relationship house that you both really, really want. But actually there's a lot of letting go here. It, it's kind of, it's not without joy and it's not without desire. But at the same time, there's this sort of tinge of the process of something, the recognition that a chapter is done. Really interesting energy in this reading. Really, really interesting. I'm going to draw some clarifying cards. Actually, I think I'm going to draw on a different pack. So I'm, I'm going to draw on the Akashic Tarot, actually. I have lots of different packs. I've drawn extra cards for every single one of this week's readings. And different ones. The Buddha prepares. This is a time of preparation. Yeah, this is a time for you to be looking ahead. You're moving through a transition. You're weighing things up. You're seeing. It's a time for you to free yourself from some circumstances or a situation. But there is also preparation yet to take place. This, this, this is a card of waiting. Okay. Archangel Gabriel, the great communicator, the messenger. Oh, the Ark of the Covenant. Hmm. This is about finding, you're moving to a place of higher purpose, higher connection, bigger dreams. It's like it's time. It's time to enter the dream time of all that you might genuinely wish to, to manifest in this world. And yet in doing so, you're leaving a chapter of your world behind. The Divine Physician. This is a healing card. And the Queen of Forces. I mean, this is a card of making it happen. It's a card of manifestation. It's a card of, of balance. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? Here we are, the full moon in Libra. And here we have the sun and the moon opposite each other. You know, the power of the masculine and the feminine in each hand. Let me show you this card. It's really, this is a balance of energy. The, the power of the masculine, the power of the feminine are in harmony. They are in unison. You can harness the power of both. This is really interesting. I feel like you're in a really empowered position. You actually have a lot of inner strength. And whatever you are preparing for, yeah, it's almost like a, it's like if there was a really big exam, if you were going to take your finals or something, it's like you're getting ready for it. But you know, your finals are, are you know, they're an amazing thing. If I use that as a, an example, you're coming to something that's going to complete. And actually you've worked really, really hard for this completion and it's going to open a ton of doorways. It is like reaching your finals, getting your university results or something, or, you know, you've applied for that job and you get it. At that point, you then have to step through the doorway and leave something behind. It's like you've applied for that promotion and you've worked really, really hard to get to this point. And you're in this space of what you're waiting to hear will what will the result be you know what are the results did i get the job did i get the grades you know it what's going to come through here actually this is really saying you will get the grades you will get the job you will get the whatever it is you've worked for whatever you're processing but it means leaving something behind and there's a sadness it's like if you get the promotion suddenly your colleagues who were like on the same level as you you had that amazing kind of working alliance and suddenly you're going to become their boss or their manager and it means the energy of your relationship will shift 
and it's like there's this tinge of sadness and yet you really really want this too but it's right because you're stepping into a space where you're owning what you deserve because you've worked for it and yeah for those of you it came through earlier the process if you're processing a loss it's that point where you step back and take an ownership of of life again of all that you can have and all that you desire I think for more of you it's a turning point it's something you've worked for you've manifested you've wanted you've paid attention to the signs whether it was and, and you've really put the time and the energy and the, the work in and it's coming back to you in some way it's about to come back to you but as it comes back to you and you receive it means you're going to step up into a place of higher calling higher awareness greater power and in doing so there is simultaneously as always there is a loss of something let's draw runes so your first rune is the rune of protection you have Hagalas, the rune of disruption you have the rune of defense Rune of separation. You have the rune of movement. Okay. So the rune of protection. This kind of speaks of right action, doing the right thing. Again, I think you've really given. You've given of yourself and of your time in some way. And you are about to reap the rewards of this. I think a, a, there's going to be a dis something is about to be disrupted. Now, sometimes the rune of Hagalas, it showed up in, I think it was reading number two, actually. But it, it kind of in reading number two, it had a different flavor to it with the other runes. With, with this reading, I, I feel it does feel like things are about to be shaken up. You know, you're in this waiting period and but you're waiting for something to come through for you that opens that pathway, that doorway for new beginnings. You've got your sights on where you want to go. I think that's really good. And it, again, it's kind of if you've been waiting for you're in that if you were like moving house, for example, and you've been you know manifesting the dream house, you're now about to again separate from something. You're leaving something behind. And there's sadness about that, but you're moving to the future that you want. And, and then there's the reality. You're facing the reality of, of the challenges that come, like stepping into that promotion, moving into the new house, getting used to new neighbors, getting accustomed to stuff. But it's all about you stepping up into a position of greater empowerment. The rune of protection speaks of right action, of doing the right thing. And I think, I think you know, this for me is a is a, an affirmation that the decision you're making is the right one for you. It is disrupting. You know, you've wanted this, but it does create a disruption. Even though you've wanted the change in your circumstances, it's, it's a big change and it will be disruptive while you process this. And it's disruptive because you're having to wait a bit to see. It's like the timing isn't quite right, but I do think it's going to emerge and it's gonna happen. The rune of um, of defense. Again, the rune of defense actually, interestingly enough, suggests that we, if, if a situation doesn't resonate with us, we have a need to move beyond it. Really, that that we develop an aversion to the conduct in people that doesn't really sit with us. So there's a need to separate, to move beyond and away something here, from here. So you are moving through and beyond, and it's about you becoming. Um, this is this is really got a very karmic feel to your pathway. The, the rune of separation, we're leaving something behind because we've outgrown it. The circumstances have changed now and it's time to invest and move forwards. The rune of movement is the bettering of any situation, the gathering of momentum. Now, because this is a full moon reading, I mean, you could be watching this at any time, of course, you could return to it and find it. But it's in, we're doing this reading in the energy of a full moon in Libra, 
with very dynamic opportunities to create rebirth, transformation and change. So anything that isn't sitting well with us is being shown to us so that we can initiate real pragmatic and actual changes. If something isn't quite moving forwards, it's simply because you're needing to bide your time, but the doorway will open. The communication, the information will come to you. And there's a healing here. It's like you're becoming more whole. This, there's something about the pathway that's right for you here. It is really fascinating. I find such a duality of feeling in this reading. On the one hand, it's like, it's the move, the job, the promotion, the getting back on track, the getting back on that bicycle again kind of flavor that just feels completely right. And um, knowing your own power, knowing you can do this, knowing that you deserve to receive. You've worked so damned hard to be here. Simultaneously though, there's a sadness at leaving something behind as well. That, that's really the flavor here. It's often there. Um, for those of you who are new to my readings, uh, I worked as an accredited counselor for 28 years. I've walked alongside, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. So, you know, full-time practice for 28 years is a lot of people. Now I have a library. You can check it out, www.azemotionalhealth.com. There's a, in the in the section in the library called The Psychology of Emotion, there's a couple of videos, um, audios actually, that, that um, might be quite insightful for you if you're moving forwards. One is called um, The Wobble of Change, and it's about the anxiety that we feel even when we want things to change, and how that kind of, how that emotionally manifests in us. And the other is, which I think is most relevant to this, is the sadness of moving forwards. You know, even when we move forwards to something we really desire and we really want, sometimes we think, you know, why am I feeling sad? This is everything I wanted. But there is a sadness there and it's a really natural part of the emotional process of moving forwards. And so, you know, that, that might be quite helpful to you, that particular um, audio. So, you know, the library is completely free. I mean, it's a membership library, but but you know, it's free, it always will be. It was sort of, as my work moved more into spiritual realms and I kind of left that sort of one-on-one -on -one counseling work and started to do, you know, very different ways of working. You know, the library was like a, a parting gift and it, it is completely free, so do access it. There's meditations, all kinds of stuff there to help understand emotions better. Um, yeah, as a source of empowerment, you know, when we understand why we feel the way we do, you know, emotion, emotions don't floor us, you know, they actually support us. So yeah, do check that out if that is relevant to you. But you are stepping into a space of, it feels like, a, of, of karmic, it's of karmic wholeness, karmic rebalance, of moving towards a position of empowerment, the direction you're supposed to be going in. It's that calling, you know, and maybe you're leaving some things behind and some people behind, but it's really right for you. It really, really is. And I really would love you to celebrate and take an ownership fully of this pathway because this feels as though this is absolutely right for you at this time. Really, really you know, kind of perfect divine timing. So reading three, tons and tons of love to you and big respect because this is a level of soul work when we really step up into um, a pathway of our fullest potential. And there's a lot of support. Temperature is dropping again. I'm just being asked and reminded to tell you there are many people walking alongside you, supporting you, those who have walked before and those of you who are processing any form of loss or grief, there are many, many people walking alongside you and some very treasured loved ones who are watching with keen desire to see you step into um, this next phase of your life. Um, yeah, this is really right for you. Gosh, very, um, you know, when you get shivers running through your body, I, they are very present. Many people coming forward um, in support of you guys here. I feel very humbled, actually, really quite emotional as well, actually. Very, very humbled, uh, very humbled, very, very welcome to, to those, a very big welcome to all who are joining us today here in support of all of you who are tuning in with this reading. 
wonderful friends and um, tons of love to you um, if you wish to get notification of my readings do subscribe and press the little bell icon and if you want to be in my monthly draw for a free private reading or some oracle cards to win oracle cards there's a, a link in the information box and the comments to join my subscriber email list but guys i'm just gonna yeah just leave it I just wish to leave this as it is with many walking um, walking alongside you're very you're being very guided at this time tons of love to you